Good morning, everybody. I am <coughs> Dr. Kannu Charanapatro, Neuro Radiation Oncologist. Today, I am going to tell about the radiology of cranial nerves, how it originated, how it looks like, and how we will see in the MRI which sequence is required. So, if you see, there are 12 pairs of cranial nerves we have. What is, uh, first is olfactory, second is optic. Then uh, third is the oculomotor, fourth is prochlear, fifth is trigeminal, who has three divisions, um, uh, ophthalmic, maxillary and mandibular. Then uh, sixth abducens, seventh facial, eighth vestibular cochlear, again vestibular cochlear, superior vestibular, co vestibular um, and inferior vestibular and cochlear nerve. Cranial nerve, ninth is glossopharyngeal, tenth is vagus, eleventh is accessory and uh, 12th is the hypoglossal nerve. So, let us discuss one by one. So, if you see this is the olfactory, this is the optic, this is the oculomotor which is uh, originated from the interpedicular uh, from the midbrain interpedicular system area. The, then uh, you can find out the trochlear which originated from the um, back side of the uh, um, midbrain and uh, uh, goes to the uh, ambient system. Then trigeminal nerve facial and glossopharyngeal nerve, uh, facial and uh, vestibular complex in the uh, CP angle, glossopharyngeal and vagus nerve um, uh, complex, then uh, cranial accessory, then uh, hypoglossal nerve. Okay, let's one by one. So, most of the uh, anterior part of the brain gives the nerve 1, 2, midbrain is the 3 and 4, pons 5, 6, 7, 8, medulla 9, 10, 11, 12. So, these are the uh, origination of the various nerves. You can see and uh, after originating the traverse those systems and go to the various foramen and, and supplies the respective uh, organs. So, olfactory you will find in the previform plate that is cranial nerve 1, optic nerve, optic canal, oculomotor is the superior orbital fissure, trochlear superior orbital fissure, trigeminal part 1 in the superior orbit superior orbital fissure, part 2 in the rotundum, part 3 in foramen ovale, abducens again superior orbital fissure, facial and vestibular cochlear nerve, internal acoustic meatus, glossopharyngeal and vagus in the cranial nerve 11th uh, in jugular foramen, um, then hypoglossal nerve in the hypoglossal canal. So, it is a corresponding foramen you can find in the uh, uh, cranial nerve course. So, to understand the cranial nerve, we have to various sequences. It depends upon the MRI company. It may be current steady state free precision chip in the SSPP, constructive interference steady state or CISS, fast imaging employing steady state acquisition or PST. These are the various sequences. Depend upon the company, uh, they do the uh, for MRI uh, cranial nerves. So, let us say one by one. So, this is the olfactory groove in the ethmoidal plate, um, ethmoidal CSF field groove. Uh, you can see here the olfactory grooves. We can, this is the for the first optic nerve, first olfactory uh, nerve, that is the olfactory nerve and olfactory groove. Then optic nerve, you can see in the optic canal. This is the optic canal, this is the optic canal, and this is the, um, you can find the optic nerve here. Then oculomotor nerve, oculomotor nerve is originated from the midbrain around the interpeduncular system. You can see in the interpeduncular system, this is called interpeduncular system. This is the oculomotor nerve, of where it emerges from the interpeduncular which lies medial to the um, cerebellar uh, pedun uh, peduncle. And uh, you can see the um, white arrow, this is the um, uh, oculomotor nerve. Uh, in between posterior cerebral artery and superior cerebral artery. This is posterior cerebral artery, cerebral artery and superior cerebral artery you can find the in coronal image. Trochlear nerve is originated from the posterior part of the midbrain and traverses the ambient system. This is called ambient system. Lateral to the midbrain is called ambient system um, where it to, to, uh, crosses the ambient system and uh, uh, we can uh, different this is the superior cerebellar artery and this is the um, uh, this 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 is the uh, um, trochlear nerve or fourth nerve then trigeminal is very easy to identify and uh, it is uh, um, uh, this is the um, uh, fifth nerve from the mid um, uh, from the pons 
where they process the prepontine system. This is called prepontine system. Uh, if you remember, third nerve, interpeduncular system, fourth nerve, ambient system, and fifth nerve is the prepontine system. You can see here prepontine system. This is the Gessian ganglion, Meckel's, uh, Meckel's cave, and this is the fifth nerve. It is very thick nerve and easy to identify any sequences. Then sixth nerve. It is anteriorly from the pons. You can see here. In the traverse the prepon again. It is traverse the prepontine system. This is the prepontine uh, prepontine system here, and uh, this is the um, uh, pons cerebral pontine angle medulla, and uh, that is known as a darylos canal arrow um, arrow along the posterior aspect of the clivus. So this uh, this nerve enters. The darylos canal uh, into the and uh, uh, and the anterior inferior cerebellar white aerohead. This anterior inferior cerebellar artery and this is the darylos canal. Uh, this is the uh, basilar artery. So this is uh, this is the anteriorly. Uh, it originates from the anteriorly from the um, uh, pons traverses through the prepontine system and then through clivus by through darylos canal. Then we will find two complex number um, uh, seventh eighth nerve complex here. You can see anteriorly seventh nerve. In uh, posteriorly eighth nerve, it is very easy to identify, and uh, in turn, at the level of internal acoustic matters, they are parallel. That is the um, anteriorly black head arrowheads is the fifth uh, seventh nerve, and uh, vestibular uh, white is known as the uh, eighth nerve. So both are in the now in the internal acoustic matters. Then ninth tenth complex. Again, ninth tenth nerve that is the glossopharyngeal and vagus, glossopharyngeal anteriorly, vagus posteriorly. Very difficult to identify in the um, um, system, system, but you can see freely in the. Um, you can see here, this is the seventh eighth complex, with, uh, seventh ninth complex, this is the glossopharyngeal, and this is the two branches of the vagus nerve. So, image through the cerebral pontine angle. So the glossopharyngeal are just beneath the follicle, uh, follicle, um, follicle of the cerebellum. The two roots of vagus nerve are visible in the same plane. You can see in the same plane. Two uh, and the superior and inferior vestibule, uh, vestibular nerve can be seen above the follicle. These are the vestibular nerves. Superior and vagus nerve arrowhead where it crosses the lateral cerebellum pontine system and across the jugular foramen. So. Glossopharyngeal nerve and uh, vagus nerve three goes through the glossop uh, uh, jugular foramen. The vagus, uh, vagus and glossopharyngeal nerve, which are difficult in distinction in this plane, are distinguished easily in the um, uh, coronal plane. You can this is the glossopharyngeal, this is the two parts of the vagus nerve, this is the seventh eighth nerve complex. Again, you can find a uh, com uh, cervical medullary junction, you can find the spinal part of the accessory nerves, which is uh, cranial rootlets, arrowheads. Uh, uh, so the cranial roots are in the accessory nerves. Accessory nerve that is the eleventh nerve. These are the cranial rootlets. Rootlets. Then twelfth nerve. Again, it is going to the um, posterior to the vertebral artery. It goes to the um, um, cerebellum medullary system. This is a cerebellum medullary system. So in this cerebellum medullary, the cerebellum the traverses and goes to the hypoglossal canal. This is the goes to the hypoglossus hypoglossal canal. And um, the vertebral arteries, he, he, two vertebral arteries, and the posterior inferior cerebellar artery in the black arrow. You can find this system posterior to the vertebral artery. You can find the hypoglossal nerves towards the hypoglossal canal. If uh, um, again, I am telling you uh, in a um, MRI anatomy, you can uh, see uh, an, a, another uh, um, uh, view. Uh, uh, um, uh, So mrimaster.com you, you can see here, uh, I will come from the top. So you see, this is the optic nerve here, you can see the optic nerve see here, and this is the optic chiasm, it is the optic chiasm, and this is the interpeduncular system where third nerve uh, goes anterior. If you go down, uh, go up, um, down, so this is the oculomotor tra normal traverses in the interpeduncular system and how it goes laterally 
and enter the cover mass and mass and you can see here the oculometer knob. Then after oculometer knob, you can and the trochlear knob which comes from the posterior part of the midbrain and traverses the uh, uh, ambient system. This is called the lateral part of the midbrain is called ambient system. So this is the trochlear knob. This is the trochlear knob. And this is the um, trochlear nerve you can see in the laterally to laterally then trochlear nerve how it is going and you can see the and this is a Michael scape and this is the fifth nerve lateral nearly CP angle area and you can see the fifth nerve easily this is the thickest nerve this, this is the fifth nerve again this is the fifth nerve again abduction nerve you can see in the prepontine system it is oh, originated from the pons you can this is the Abduction nor prepontine system, you can push uh, lateral to the basal artery. You can see here this is the prepontine system, sixth nor. Then you can go to the vestibular cochlear nor and uh, um, 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 seventh eighth nor complex. So this is a uh, complex uh, in the CP angle area, and this is the um, um, Oh, facial nerve and in the vestibular cochlear nerve you can see the facial nerve anteriorly vestibular cochlear nerve posteriorly and you can see easily facial nerve and vestibular cochlear nerve again vestibular cochlear nerve posteriorly facial nerve anteriorly then eighth nerve then we will see in the uh, glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve this is the glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve complex going to the jugular foramen uh, this is the jugular foramen, uh, glossopharyngeal nerve and vagus nerve complex in going to the jugular foramen. Then in the, you can see in the jugular foramen, glossopharyngeal nerve is going inside. Then hypoglossal nerve posterior to the vertebral artery, posterior to the vertebral artery. Uh, you, you can so go to the jugular foramen, a uh, hypoglossal canal. Then you can find the spinal, uh, spinal roots of the spinal accessory and not you can see the spinal accessory not spinal roots. So this is all about uh, wrongly I told in between that uh, um, uh, fifth nerve uh, and this is the fifth nerve and uh, this is the fifth nerve it is from the again lateral um, from the pons prepon it goes through the prepontine system it is uh, it goes through the prepontine system. Now I will show you in uh, another uh, another way. Let's see. This is called uh, FSPGR sequence. You can see here. You can see here. just a minute so you can see here this is the optic nerve here you can see the optic nerve is very easily you can see and if you go up to uh, up you can see the it forms the optic chiasm here then it is very good sequence to see the optic chiasm and this is the optic chiasm optic chiasm and optic nerve let's see this is the oculomotor um, uh, nerve originated from the interpeduncular system you can see the fifth uh, third nerve oculomotor nerve very easily then if you uh, um, uh, then go downwards you will find trochlear nerve it is going to the um, uh, interpeduncular system anteriorly then this is the fifth nerve fifth nerve here you can very uh, easily you find this is a seventh eighth nerve complex this is a seventh eighth nerve complex then this is the ninth tenth corner complex that is going to the glossopharyngeal um, uh, then uh, so jugular foramen then this is the hypoglossal canal going to the hypoglossal um, area uh, hypoglossal canal hypoglossal nerve into going to the hypoglossal canal this is hypoglossal canal let's see in the um, fiesta sequence
you can see the you can get, see the, the spin, spinal accessory and cranial accessory nerves here and uh, this is the posterior to the vertebral artery you can see the hypoglossal nerve hypo, going to the hypoglossal canal this is the basilar artery and you can 7th 8th nerve complex you can see easily here it in the going to the you can see the uh, semicircular canals and cochlea easily and uh, this is the 7th 8th nerve complex you can uh, find abducent nerves going to the darlos canal this is the abducent nerve and you, if you go up again uh, this is the um, fifth nerve trigeminal nerve this is the meckel's cave this is a fifth nerve you can go up you can see so if fifth nerve easily found here this and then this is the seventh eighth complex ninth tenth complex Glossopharyngeal, uh, sorry, hypoglossal canal and hypoglossal nerves. So this is all about how to identify and what is the various sequence required. And uh, um, uh, so, so if you uh, So if you want to go through the all cranial um, uh, uh, nerves uh, easily identification sequence is required you, this is a reference article for you and you can go ahead and uh, discuss now thank you very much uh, for watching you can like comment share and subscribe my channel uh, so that you can get alerts about the various uh, radiological imaging thank you very much